Today, we're going to talk to Eduardo San Martin Moreau, and we're going to find out how he got started in web development, what he's up to today, and what he's going to be speaking about at the upcoming Vue.js Live Conference. This video is sponsored by Git Nation. Be sure not to miss the Vue.js Live Conference happening October 20th and 21st. Vue.js Live will be a remote conference with 35 speakers and more than 10,000 developers attending. There will be over 10 free and pro workshops included. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing libraries and projects. Learn from top view speakers, join live chat rooms, after party, and fun activities. Discover the future of Vue and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off. Eduardo is an amazing developer, open source contributor. He's a Vue.js core team member focusing on the official router. And aside from that, he's a great speaker. So thanks for joining me today, Eduardo. Um, why don't you give everyone a quick introduction? Did I miss anything? Sure. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me, Jason. So yeah, I, my name is Eduardo. I'm a front-end developer. I work as a freelance, but also I spend a lot of my time doing open source in Vue.js. Uh, so I'm a member of the core team and I participate regularly in discussions and in the repositories. So you can see me around in GitHub very often, uh, answering to his ears. Uh, and discussions as well. Nice, awesome. So why don't you give us a quick uh, background, like how did you get started in web development? What drew you to this uh, industry? So it's funny because uh, I got started with web development uh, when I was in engineering school because I was it was at a time where now JS, JS was, um, at, I think it's, it was uh, version 0.10, something like that. Wow. Um, so it was a time where JavaScript was still a toy language, but it was getting out of there. Uh, and I was seeing that there were a lot of uh, job offers at the time uh, for that. So I was just doing engineering school uh, and computer science. I could, I, I just enjoy programming, and I was, I was trying to look for things that I, I could also have a job. Uh, and I did find the web very interesting because you can just uh, share your work so easily compared to, I was doing some video games before that. Mm -hmm. So a video game, you have to compile the thing. You have to compile it for the different architecture you want to share it with. And then uh, you have to upload the files. Uh, and usually you have uh, problems about linking with the DLLs and stuff like that. Web mm -hmm. was so much easier. You just put the things on a server and you share with someone the URL and that's it. it uh, so works. that's really, it just works. <laughs> that's so crazy when you, when you are where you compare it to with something like video games. So that ability to share the things you create so easily uh, really made me shift, as well as being able to work on it and make a living out of it, because at the end I was studying for that too. <laughs> nice, awesome. So um, switching gears to the conference. So I just saw this Vue.js.London landing page with that animation. And uh, have you seen that, that uh, Vue.js animation? It's amazing. So which one? I think they have uh, so many animations in the view. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, oh, the yeah, 3D, Vue JS, the 3D. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually love it. When you move the mouse around, it, 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 and it works morphs and transforms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. It is, it is. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so be sure to check that out, Vue.js.London. Um, so at the conference, you're going to be talking about uh, everything beyond state management and stores with Pinya. So... Uh, for those who don't know what that is, why don't we start there? And also, am I pronouncing that correctly? Yeah, that's a pronunciation. I mean, I never really care about <laughs> Well, you never, you never know. Like, there's so many um, libraries and, and open source projects out there, and they have some of them have strange names. Um, like, like Vite. You, yeah. You're not sure. Is it Vite? Is it Vite? Is it, you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Th thanks for clearing that up. But no, it's Pina. Yeah. I, it's, it, that's a pronunciation. Awesome. I mean, I wanted to, uh, it, it's just the pineapple, the pineapple word in uh -huh. Spanish. Um, so Pina, but you cannot have the character in NPM. So I had to tweak it up a little that bit. That makes sense. So, wh so what <laughs> is that and how is it? how does it help Vue.js developers? Uh, so Pina is um, a project I started, I think, almost two years ago now, uh, which to me sounds crazy because I, I mean, it's, because of the pandemic, of course, you don't realize uh, how fast the time has mm -hmm. been going, uh, passing by. But um, it's supposed to be a new approach to state management, uh, simple state management, uh, and that adapts that that is more adapted to the composition API that you offers uh, nowadays. So 
it's way smaller than the previous uh, than, that, that, than Duex. Um, it eliminates some of the verbosity and all the struggles that people were having with UX. And it's also um, a project where I try to push the developer experience a, a, bit, a bit further. So with the um, with all the work that Guillaume, another core team member, has been doing on the DevTools, uh, we can um, really push forward, uh, really push uh, like very far the experience of uh, the integration within the DevTools of any library. And Pina, I think Pina is a great example of that because it really utilizes uh, all the features that can from the DevTools as much as I can. You can save things as a JSON file, you can import JSON file, you, you have uh, uh, an, a timeline where you can see all the actions and anything you do inside and the actions appear in the timeline as a small frame and you have small dots inside or in the inside of the of the of the frames to say hey here you are modifying the state here you are changing this state the previous value was this but mm -hmm. the new value was is that so pinia is all about uh rethinking how um something like ux could be with the composition again and in fact it's uh fueling uh, all the conversations we had for UX inside the team and the ARC. So it's also a, a good idea for people who are who wants to start a new project and they want to probably migrate over UX 5 when it's ready. Um, it's probably going to be better, <laughs> easier for them because it has also a better TypeScript integration. So everything that was a pain <laughs> back, everything that has been a pain for UX 4, that's what I was trying to fix. I was, uh, that's what I was focusing for. Uh, and it was it was a way for me to play nice. around with the API uh, with code instead of dealing too much with the actual conversation and the RSC process, which is heavier. And I do enjoy it, but sometimes I enjoy it more to code it right and try it by myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it sounds like it's really taking the state management in view to the next level. You two and you three. <laughs> Adding to that. Yes. Yes. Exactly. So um, before we wrap up is there anything that we missed anything or anything that you want to shout out anything at all sure well then uh i'm still looking for more sponsors and, and you have to fully work on open source and mm -hmm. i do offer some nice um what would be the word uh advertising uh, i mean the sponsors appear uh, lo uh their logos appear in the in the some of the websites so some of them are view router mm -hmm. uh documentation mm -hmm. which has a uh, a lot of traffic millions of of, of views per month so yeah. pretty interesting for some sponsors, I would say, and it will help me out to uh, to keep working um, on these projects uh, yeah. every day. Yeah, I mean, that's how uh, open source contributors, you know, make money. It's, you know, we're, we're not paid to do all of these things. So sponsors uh, are definitely encouraged and helpful. Right, especially so, when it's sure. companies and they, they're actually making money out of it. So they can they can spend the money. Mm -hmm. I would prefer if I have more companies sure. than individuals, which is definitely not the case. Why not invest in tools that you're right. benefiting from, for sure? Yes. All right, so be sure to join us October 20th and 21st at the Vue.js Live Conference. We'll see you there. Goodbye. Be sure not to miss the Vue.js Live Conference happening October 20th and 21st. Vue.js Live will be a remote conference with 35 speakers and more than 10,000 developers attending. There will be over 10 free and pro workshops included. You can expect to hear from authors and core teams from these amazing libraries and projects. Learn from top view speakers, join live chat rooms, after party, and fun activities. Discover the future of Vue and connect with other developers from around the world. Get your tickets now using the link in the description to get 20% off.